Ladies and gentlemen, altcoins are pumping across the board. XRP up 8%, Solana up 20% right now, AVEX up 10%. Yes, 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 it is exciting. Even though, as I've stated before, these numbers are still rookie numbers, it is nice to see. And this confirms to me yet again what I've been saying for a good while, which is that altcoin season is across the corner. Because Bitcoin ain't doing too much. It's up like 3% right now. And all coins are just blasting. That is exactly what I like to see in an altcoin season. Or at least in the earlier stages of it. Dusty, what are you looking into right now? My friends, let me tell you. I just recorded a video talking about a lot of my meme coin plays, or at least what I think would be wise. I'm not sure if I'll post a video before or after, but I honestly think one of the big things you guys can look into if you're interested is everything Blast related, because since it's launching just now, it could be that that's what's gonna get a lot of the attention and hype over the next few weeks, just my own personal suggestion. Anyway, that's just one specific play that might be nice to people. Just focus on whatever is coming onto Blast blast and give it a little bit of extra love, a little bit of extra attention because it could return you good profits over the next few months. Which brings me to the conclusion of Dusty, which coins are you buying? Which coins are exciting? What should we do? I've said before, many people are skeptical when I talk about it, but I've got a good chunk of XRP. I personally think, and I don't care what anybody else tells me, I don't think they're dead. I think it's going to do well. No, I'm not being paid by Ripple. No, I've never gotten a single XRP to talk about XRP or anything that people sometimes say. I'm not affiliated with Ripple in any way, shape, or form or the XP Foundation or anything like that. And as I always say, if you want to sell every single dollar you have in XRP, zero hard feelings, I can understand. I'm just giving my two cents because this is my investment thesis and I'll share it with you. I hold it because I believe this run, they should still do well. And I believe it will happen after um, the Bitcoin basically kind of pops off and it kind of falls off. This run, I think Bitcoin will fall off less than previous runs. But as we can see, even today, Bitcoin up 3.5% and a lot of the altcoins up like here, 18, 15, 10, and XRP 8. This is a similar sort of scenario I see happening in the near future. But most importantly, if we take a look at even further on the right, most altcoins right now are still down a ton. A lot of these have to recover, right? Well, how is it going to happen? It's going to happen in a classical, in my opinion, altcoin season way, where every single day, day in, day out, all these coins are up 30, 40, whatever percent, or perhaps now at the start lower at 10, 20% a day, day in, day out, day in, day out, without really too much of a crash in the midst, similarly to what we just have seen with Bitcoin. What we saw with Bitcoin just now is not unique. Every bull run is similar of just really kind of scary gains that make you think, oh, should I sell everything and buy, buy now? Or should I sell everything and cash out? Should I sell my house and buy more? That type of fear will be amplified in a real altcoin season, which it's starting, but the numbers are not up the way I like to see them just quite yet. It's green all across the board, but it should be even greener in a real altcoin season. The only thing I keep in mind is perhaps this time it's different because Bitcoin uh, and Bitcoin's inflows are partially decided not by real Bitcoin, but by ETF Bitcoin. And since they are bought on the open market, it, it pumps the price, but those guys will not diversify into all coins. So perhaps the dominance is going to stay higher than normally. But so, like I said, XRP, Solana, all your major top all coins are right now the best. So as I stated, I am not buying as many top, top, top altcoins anymore because I've been accumulating for so long. But that's because whatever is happening to prices right now, I don't want to sound cocky. But if you look back a year and a half um, while we were so low for Bitcoin, low for all the altcoins, I have said to you guys what is happening right now. Exactly. I'm not alone. There's probably thousands of people who knew exactly what was going to happen. And even though you, okay, let me, let me refresh this by saying, I was not sure, but there's a probability on anything. And I thought the probability of what we're seeing right now was so ridiculously high that I spent a lot of money buying altcoins in the dip, a lot of money opening long positions. And right now, those fruits are ripened and my portfolio is probably the highest it's ever been. I also stated, if your portfolio is not making new highs every week, every couple of weeks, every month right now, you are not going for the right strategy. You have to reconsider or you have to understand you're going for a long-term thing, which is not what I do, all right? Anyway, uh, but back then I was telling you guys 
this is this Bitcoin cycle. You know, there's a bull bear accumulation. This is how it always flows every single cycle in the past as well. This is what we're preparing for. This is what we're going for. I made a, a little video and a, a section talking about Bitcoin going to $60,000 in 14 days. People laughed at it, but look at where we are today, huh? Bitcoin went from 45,000 to 60,000 in, uh, I think a little bit over 14 days, but I think it took from the 8th to the 28th. So let's say 20 days or so. I think that's still pretty solid. And so, as I said, I'm not buying as many of these top altcoins, but if I were you, I would. Um, just a lot of the top to top altcoins. Then, over the next few weeks, as Bitcoin secures its spot here, and we notice, hmm, there's no real massive correction, or it corrects a bit, and then once it starts pumping again, and all coins start going really, really, really crazy. I'm talking, it's already been a few weeks of just crazy gains across the board. That's when you skip everything in the top one or two pages. This all, no, don't touch it, right? Don't don't even think about it, because $800 million mark cap is too much. This could even do 1,000x, right? Ah, okay, let's say it could do 100x without that much of a hassle. It could, but I, I want more. Uh, so I go down the ranks. I try to buy many, many things at the 200 million to 600 million range, but preferably smaller. And I just go completely, completely, completely crazy because that's where the real money lies. And in the bull market, you can play it safe, stay at the top, uh, but why would you? And I often see the comment section, people asking me, Dusty, which coins to buy? That's what I make so many of my top coin videos about, and I'll keep making those as time progresses. And most of the time, guys, I'm, I'm being completely open with you here. Everything I talk about will do really well, and I will never be able to catch every single coin that does well at the exact right time. But I think if you just catch one or two of the right ones, like my Nosana, for example, bring me like 650 or 700 X, you don't need that many bangers. You just need a few. And that's why every now and then I put a little bit of money into a $2 million, $1 million, $5 million project. Because if I put money into it once a day, for example, and it fails me for the first 50 days, but then one time it pops off and failing means it goes like times three or four or five. I'm talking one time it pops off and does a, a 300 X, then it's all fine, right? I have patience, but I basically keep you guys up to date with that over time. And I've explained my strategy more and more often, which is what I'm personally going for for the most is just AI coins. I think it's going to be my sector of choice for this run. Some of my friends are only into gaming coins or a lot into gaming coins. I just never really got into it too much. I like gaming coins for sure, but AI coins just make even more sense to me. And since I always tell you guys, it's smart to become a specialist in a certain area. And I usually don't have enough time to be a specialist in every single thing, which is what I have analysts for. They do that stuff. But I want to kind of become more of a specialist in the AI sector, invest into all the new things coming up, know about every single project in the sector, because I think it's one of the best growth factors. And as I said, I think you kind of, if I have to be honest, should choose between BRC ordinals runes, so everything Bitcoin related, um, memes, because once more, those are make or break, the AI sector or the gaming sector, or you could go um, real world assets. That's another area that will see massive growth, but there's not that many tokens which are amazing. It's just a really upcoming sector. If it's not one of those five, you gotta explain to me really very much so why. And by the way, AI and deep in uh, distributed computing, I kind of mix into one and big data, all those type of garbages. I think I should also go for a haircut, by the way. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> but yeah, if you take a look at the gaming sector, for example, today, also 10% across many, many of these coins. And these gains are still very little to what we're going to see over the next few months. But like I said, you don't need somebody to tell you this or that altcoin if you really spend the time to learn the sector. Because then what I always like to hear is you guys telling me what you're looking into and kind of like, quote unquote, advising me as to what has a lot of potential. And how do you learn about that? By just spending time in it. So that's my number one recommendation. Spend time, understand where you're at in the cycle, halving 51 days out. Right now, it still seems as if we are on the up and upside, even though a, a correction of sorts can happen. This area, slightly before the halving, is usually one of the most bullish ones, but especially going into the halving is where things usually absolutely pop off. So for the next couple of months, I'm so bullish. Yes, we can have a correction, but overall, I'm so bullish. There's nothing that's going to be able to stop me. But yeah, that's about it.